Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Rains with Sort 27 for this week. Uh, we're no longer talking about numbers. We're now talking about Greek and Latin elements dealing with size. So all of our four categories for this week all deal with size. So we have hyper, mega, micro, and super. So noticing this, we have three hyper, mega, and super, which deal with being large, and we have micro, which is small. So for our first category, hyper, hyper means over and beyond. So we have hyperactive, hyperventilate, hypercritical, hypersensitive, and hyperbole. For our next category for mega, we have megabyte, mega hit, megaphone, megalopolis, and mega dose. For our third category, which means small, we have microwave, microbus, microbe, microcosm, microsurgery, microscope, and microfilm. And for our last category, which means over and above, we have superhero, superstar, superhighway, superpower, supermarket, superego, and superhuman. All right, so taking a look down below our chart, we have um, words and definitions. And I have italicized an example sentence for you as well. Uh, one more thing before I leave this chart. Um, if you notice, um, the categories are all in ABC order, but the words listed underneath are not in alphabetical order. So please make sure that you're paying attention to that when you're doing ABC order. Don't just follow what I have here on the video. Make sure you really are trying to figure out what the ABC order is based off of the, um, the order of the letters, okay? Okay, so going back down to our words definition in our example sentence. So number one, I have hyperactive. Hyperactive means that they are extremely active. So the example sentence that I have for that is the hyperactive child had a hard time concentrating on the classic sign class assignment. So for hyperactive child, that means that they have a really hard time sitting still. So that's hyperactive. Number two, I have hyperventilate. Hyperventilate means to breathe at an overly fast rate. So usually like when you're scared of something, you like breathe at a fast rate. So um, the sentence that I have is I hyperventilate when the nurse come, comes near me with the needle. So we all, we, none of us really like needles, right? So hyperventilating because of being scared of that needle makes sense. Number three, hypercritical. Hypercritical means being extremely critical or too eager to find mistakes in someone or something. So um, the sentence that I have for hypercritical is perfectionists are often hypercritical of their work. So somebody who, like, who likes everything perfect are usually pretty hard on themselves um, when they're judging their own work. All right, number four, hypersensitive. Hypersensitive means to be extremely sensitive. So they get their feelings hurt very easily and or they're very sensitive physically to touch. So um, the way that I use uh, hypersensitive in this sentence um, is in the emotional sense. So it says he is hypersensitive to anyone telling him he did something wrong. So meaning that his feelings were hurt when they told him that he did something wrong. Number five, hyperbole. Hyperbole is um, a figure of speech that we use for like, um, you know, figurative language. Um, and so we're talking about exaggerated statements used to make a point, but not meant to be taken, taken literal. So um, taking a look at the sentence, I have his claim about being the smartest kid in school was a bit of a hyperbole. So his claim saying that he was the smartest kid in school was a bit exaggerated. So that was that hyperbole in that sentence. All right, so number six, megabyte. Megabyte means one million bytes of information. Now notice that it's B-Y-T-E-S for bytes and not B-I-T-E-S. So it's not talking about something biting something like with their teeth. Um, this type of byte is talking about the computer storage that you would have. So um, for mega, meaning large, so megabyte would be like a large type of storage. So it says it's used to measure the size of large computer files. So the sentence that I have for megabyte is, there is not enough room on the computer drive to store the two megabyte file. So meaning that it was not large enough to store that large file. So number 
seven. Mega hit. So thinking about mega hit, you know, like a hit would be like something that's very popular with people. So a mega hit would be a big success. So that could be talking about a movie, a song, a book, or a video game that was just really popular. So the song, the uh, the sentence that I have is the song was a mega hit last year. So talking about it was really popular with everyone. Number eight, megaphone. Um, a lot of times you guys do see us with megaphones at dismissal um, if we're calling out names um, for when their parents arrive. So megaphone is a device used to make your voice sound louder, um, usually to speak over a crowd of people. So the sentence that I have is, the teachers use a megaphone at dismissal to notify students when their parent has arrived. So that's megaphone. Number nine, megalopolis. Megalopolis is a very large, heavy populated city. Um, and the sentence that I have for megalopolis is traveling from city to city in a megalopolis like San Francisco to San Diego can be very overwhelming. So the reason being, it would be like a lot of people living there. So it probably has a lot of, probably has a lot of traffic trying to get through. So um, that's megalopolis. Number 10, mega dose. Mega dose is a very large dose of a vitamin or medicine. Um, the example sentence that I have is, I took a mega dose of vitamin C to help cure my cold. So that is mega dose. Number 11, microwave. Microwave, um, we all know what a microwave is, right? But when we think about um, what's actually cooking our food, that would be like a radio wave that would be cooking or heating our food. So it's a shorter than normal radio wave. So it's a small wave uh, cooking the food. So the sentence that I have is, they pop the popcorn in the microwave to snack on during the movie. Number 12, <clears throat> microbus. Microbus is a very small size bus. So like the size of a minivan, not like the size of a school bus. So um, I think of like Scooby-Doo and um, Scooby-Doo and all his friends traveling in their little Volkswagen micro bus, right? So um, the sentence that I have is the friends travel together in a Volkswagen micro bus. All right, number 13, microbe. Microbe is a microorganism, which is a very small living thing that causes diseases. Um, so the sentence that I have for microbe is, under the microscope, we could see the microbe, and it was really interesting to see how it worked and behaved. So that's microbe. Number 14, microcosm. Microcosm is actually talking about like a small part, and cosm meaning like, you know, like the cosmos, like the universe. So um, it's a small part out of a really big part. So for example, um, I have our world is a small part of the entire universe. And the example sentence that I also have is talking about man is a microcosm of the whole mankind. So talking about how one person is, you know, a small part from everyone who's ever lived. So that would be the whole mankind. So that's microcosm. Number 15, microsurgery. Microsurgery is um, surgery performed with a small with small instruments um, or tools that the doctor uses, and also a microscope actually that that would probably go inside of you so that the doctor could see inside and what they're doing. So the the sentence that I have for microsurgery is she trusted her doctor to perform the microsurgery because he was very experienced. Number sixteen, microscope. We all know what a microscope is, hopefully. Um, microscope is a scientific instrument which makes very small objects look bigger so that we can see more detail. So the sentence that I have for microscope is the children each had a turn to look through the microscope in the science lab. Number 17, microfilm. Microfilm, um, we all know what film is, right, with cameras, you know, where we get them developed and you can see pictures. Microfilm is a little different where you have, like, small size film where tiny photographs are printed and stored. So usually, like, old newspapers um, are copied onto that microfilm. And you can use a, a machine to actually look at the old newspapers. 
So the sentence I have for microfilm is the microfilm has copies of newspapers going back to the turn of the century. Number 18, superhero. We all know what a superhero is, right? It's a fictional hero having extraordinary superpowers. So the sentence that I have for superhero is he said his all-time favorite superhero was Iron Man. Number 19, superstar. Superstar is an extremely successful performer. So it could be like an actor or singer or it could be an athlete. So the sentence I have for superstar is his superstar status is well-deserved, meaning that they earn their way to their status, their superstar status. Number 20, superhighway. A superhighway is a multi-lane highway designed for high-speed traffic. So like 95, for example, would be a multi-lane highway where, where cars would go really fast. And so the sentence that I have for superhighway is on this superhighway, drivers should keep to a speed of about 80 miles per hour. Number 21, superpower. Superpower is having great power. So um, I know we talked about superhero a little bit above, right? Um, and we can also say like superheroes do have superpowers. But when we're referring to superpower, um, you can also think about countries being a superpower. So powerful countries within the world. So for example, United States and China are superpower countries in the world. So that's the example sentence for superpower. Number 22, supermarket. <clears throat> supermarket is a large store selling foods and household goods. So like Super Walmart would be a supermarket or um, Publix would also be a supermarket. And so the sentence that I have for supermarket is he worked in the produce section of the supermarket for many years. So the produce section would be like where the fruits and vegetables are. So that's where he worked. Number 23, super ego. Super ego is a part of a person's mind that kind of like tells them what rules they should follow or proper values of the society. It's kind of like your conscience, right? You're thinking about like what you, if you should do something, if it's right or if it's wrong. So the sentence that I have for super ego is the super ego is self-critical and makes you feel guilty when you know you have done something wrong. Number 24, superhuman. Superhuman means exceeding normal human power, size, and strength. So like it's tip, it's not what we typically have. It's greater than, than that. So the sentence that I have for superhuman is it will take a superhuman effort for their team to win the championship this year. So talking about how it would take um, a great superhuman type effort for them to even have a chance to win. All right, so those are all 24 words that we have for this week. So make sure that you're doing your words their way homework. Um, I am cutting out triangle words for this week, so you don't have to worry about that, which I'm sure you all will be very happy about. But color words, three times each, ABC order, definition, and 10 words in a sentence, um, those will still all be due this Friday. And our test for sort 27 will also be this Friday as well. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.